Welcome back on the VSC channel guys. This is the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra. This thing here is the Samsung Galaxy S24 Ultra and I'm spending a crazy amount of effort to get my hands on the S25 Ultra. Anyway, I hope I will get it very soon. Believe me, I'm really trying hard, but the place where I live, it's a pre-order. I need to wait until the 6th of February. In the meantime, people already got it, tested it, and now they're just sending it over and they're just they're waiting for the next Chinese Ultra phone. Joke aside, I hope that in the next days I'm going to be able to put my hands on the S25 Ultra and until we wait, yeah, there are some new things and in this video I'm going to show you. Sound Assistant finally updated to support One UI 7 with some custom, yeah, volume panels. I know, I know it's not so... So here it is, the Sound Assistant just got a new version guys, the version is 7.1. .00.7 and besides the fact that now they added a maintain media volume while using navigator option yeah they also added applied one ui 7 ui to my own volume panel what does this mean now okay guys you can see this thing here is for sure not my standard volume panel so if i click here i'm gonna go directly to the sound system and now we have the customization of the volume panel where you can change the volume slider the floating button and more and actually from here guys you can click custom and then you can see all the options so we have a standard panel right and from here you can decide where you want to get the layouts right now it's on the left right now is on the right you have also showed the volume level okay so right now there is no volume level right now there's going to be a volume level when i try to do it so okay where is the volume level just try to do it boom it's going to be here now you can see i have the volume level of 100 does it work though not ideally because yeah it should also work here doesn't work somehow floating button guys i do have a floating button which is this thing here <laughs> as you can see oh yeah and now i do get actually the volume level so it's here so when I click the floating button, right, I can just get to the volume or click here and then boom, again, go to all my settings. Something that I like, and this is kind of like, it goes along with the One UI 7 theming, but when I go to the maximum volume, it will just make the whole bar so bright. And when I go to the lowest volume, it will also dim the color. Again, like the small little things from One UI 7 that we love or I love then we have dual up volume when the volume of the app is not 100% it appears next to the main volume so if you use you know dual volume apps you can control it from here and then we have the expanded panel where you can show the toolbar functions so okay now no toolbar functions you can see all right I'm gonna click here there's going to be no toolbar functions but this is a handy function so I'm gonna click show toolbar functions also I'm going to remove that floating button. I don't need that one. And now, boom, all right, where is my volume? It's here, and I have the toolbar from here at the blue metronome. Okay, I have also, like, subtitles if you want to get them. There are many other things here, all right? I can click here as well and get the equalizer. And this thing looks really dull, by the way, with all the presets and stuff like that. And then, guys, I'm going to click here and go back into the customization of the volume panel. So in the expanded panel, you only have this up volume, the Bluetooth metronome, if you want to get that one here, right? So if you have a Bluetooth connection and there is a slight audio latency, you can use this to adjust it. Now, in this case, I don't want to get that one. And then we have something else. Make your own volume panel colors, change the lighting effect shape. And this thing is, I, I reviewed this in the past. This is basically the Flex UI. And it's cool and it's shiny and you can use it to i'm not sure you know yeah flex i mean it's, it's the flex uh, ui right like why not use that to flex and you can choose all kind of options and if that's your thing and if you want your volume panel to look very fancy and very flashy then this is it and there are also some themes by the way here you can go and you can select your own themes and then if you also go back to the flex ui and disable it then, you know, you are able to select this very muted color. So let's say, yeah, why not get it in this green color or this red color? But remember, you can also use Flex UI and then it's going to be like a monstrous combination of this color here with the Flex UI. But you get the point. It's now updated. It does work for One UI uh, 7. And I really hope, guys, that in the next video, I'm going to be able to show the Galaxy S25 Ultra. That's it, guys. Stay safe. Yes, the over and bye.